Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today we have something very important to discuss in the world of jailbreaking. Now this news is related to Hacker Luca Tedesco. If you have yet to watch my dedicated playlist on the individual as well as his announcements, then just be sure to do so. I will have it linked on your screens now via cards and annotations and even down below in the more info if you're on mobile. There are four previous videos I highly recommend watching through all of them first before picking up here so that way you kind of have some backstory and you know what's going on. But essentially the hacker did release jailbreak demonstrations or at least proof for iOS 9.2.1 in the form of an image and then iOS 9.3 beta and an actual quick video demonstration that again he can successfully jailbreak those firmwares and it is possible at a kernel level which is the most difficult part. However, those were not bold jailbreaks as they were simply an injection of the kernel patches as well as other exploits. Now though he has achieved an untethered jailbreak which means it will automatically load upon reboot and apply the kernel patch. Patch. He said on Twitter last night, quote, finally got Untether working somewhat decently. So let's go ahead and get into this. I did grab some screenshots from the demonstration that I'm going to highlight and break down for you now, but first I wanted to state that you should not get your hopes up. Luca Tedesco will never directly release a public jailbreak, as I stated specifically in the last video found in this series. If you're at all confused as to why, then I highly recommend watching that before continuing on in this video. Really, the key thing to take away from this latest demonstration is that a full untethered jailbreak on 9.2 and up is at least possible and teams who will actually contribute to the jailbreak community, namely Taiji as well as Pangu, will be able to do so on iOS 9.2 and later. So let's go ahead and break down what he's actually doing here. All right, first of all, he launches up mobile terminal and he runs this following command. It's just you name A, it's a universal command that will identify the device. Again, at the beginning, it just confirms that it is the Darwin kernel, which basically is what iOS is built on, that open source kernel. It states the time there, it looks like, and then it goes into confirming that it is root, so it has root access there, and it also states that it is a public release iPhone 7 comma 2. Now that identifier corresponds to the iPhone 6. Next slide here, he's actually launching up Cydia and Cydia does again recognize that it is an iPhone 6 running iOS 9.2. Just note that he has already released proof that he can jailbreak iOS 9.2.1 as well as iOS 9.3 and the video is even titled as such. So then he goes on to actually power off the iPhone. It reboots and then comes back up. He switches the places of terminal as well as Cydia inside of the dock there, just to show that the five icon dock is actually functioning and that Cydia substrate does work properly because again, this is a tweak. And then he goes on to launch up settings, go inside of the winterboard portion of settings and then toggle off the theme that he actually has set. It resprings into just the stock iOS theme and then he launches up Winterboard again, turns on his theme and then it respring's and you can see that Winterboard theme has once again applied. So here it is with the stock iOS look and then here it is after he's then reapplied those theme settings inside of the settings app. Once again, he switches terminal and Cydia in the dock to reaffirm that the five icon dock tweak functions. He then opens up terminal and runs that uname a command. It prints out the exact same result as before. Again, that this is an iPhone 6 pretty much is what we can take away from that with a 64-bit CPU. And then he ends it with what most will consider to be a very unfair teaser. We are of no releases, much drama, unsafe tools. So that's the end of his demonstration. And he proves that it's an iPhone 6 running iOS 9.2 with Cydia, that it can reboot, meaning it is untethered, and that Cydia or mobile's substrate does function and the tweaks work properly. He basically just shows Winterboard as well as that five icon dock there. But note that as I mentioned in previous videos found in this series, it is probably a fail break in the sense that it does utilize or require the use of a developer account and that whatever he's working on simply cannot be released for those reasons. The only positive thing that we can really take away from this, as I mentioned previously, is that an untethered jailbreak is possible on 9.2 and up, which we already should have assumed. So I will keep you guys completely covered anytime new developments start to unfold in the realm of jailbreaking. Remember, we are still waiting on a new jailbreak utility for iOS 9.1 and up. At this point, it is likely that they will either target iOS 9.2.1 or iOS 9.3. Click the subscribe button below if you have yet to. I will keep you guys completely notified along the way. Be sure to give 
give this video a thumbs up if it helped you and if it kind of clarified things. And of course, for even more updates, like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out. Join the I Crack Your Advice community on Patreon to help out the channel and to be featured in videos similar to these top contributors. Click the link on your screens now if you're on desktop or check below.